Hello, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of the Valder Beebe Show's That Celebrity Interview. Hey, Dr. Hale and Lucy Hutchins, thank you for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas on the Valder Beebe Show. Thanks for having I'd us. I'd like to get started with you, Dr. Hale. Let's talk about skin cancer. Give me some basic understanding. Skin cancer is the most common cancer diagnosed in the United States. It's thought that one in five Americans will develop skin cancer before age 70. And this includes people of all ethnicities, all skin types. There are certain predisposing risk factors, so certainly people with lighter skin who have spent a lot of time in the sun or people who have gotten sunburns as, ch as children are at increased risk. But the thing that's really unique about skin cancer is that we know what causes it, which is unprotected sun exposure, and we also have a real opportunity to treat it because most skin cancers are completely curable when they're caught early. Let me ask you, Lucy, you're going to give us a personal perspective. Could you share your story? Yes, so I'm a 4-H'er from Pennsylvania, and I think that this partnership between 4-H and Coppertone is great because as a 4-H'er, I know that 4-H'ers have the skills to really implement good practices using the education that they receive, and I think that, th that this partnership, again, is great because it has implemented... Um, ways for 4-H'ers to use their leadership and creative thinking skills to really make sun protection a priority in their everyday lives. For instance, they were able to submit ideas for the Sun Smarts Challenge for um, just their perspective on why sun protection is important and how that they can really make a difference within their communities and within their families because kids, we're seeing more and more, kids are very big catalysts within their communities and that this protection really gives them the background to make a difference. So they have the Sun Smarts Challenge. And they also, different 4-H camps are receiving grant money to really prioritize sun protection because with summer coming up, they're gonna be out in the sun so much more and it's important that they develop these practices now because it will really help them down the, down the road. Dr. Hill, let me ask you, I'm going to take a couple of these Facebook questions that you guys have out there. I see so many of them, but I can only take a few. One of them is, Dr. Hill, you said something about lighter skin. People um, uh, of uh, darker skin tone, they want to know, are they affected by skin cancer? Absolutely. So we are seeing rises in skin cancer in all skin types. So when I said one in five Americans will get skin cancer, that includes African Americans, Latinos, Asian Americans. So we really all need to protect ourselves. Um, something people don't often know is that Bob Marley actually died from skin cancer. He died from melanoma and he had one on his toe. So this is why we really recommend that everybody, everybody get a skin check regardless of your skin type. And you need someone really looking in between your toes and looking behind your ears and looking in areas that you can't see yourself. Because again, even though skin cancer is so common, it's always almost curable when it's detected early. This partnership that you guys have right now, what is it designed to do other than awareness? What is it designed to do? So I've partnered with Copper Tone and with 4-H because I really think there's a unique opportunity to make a difference. Awareness, as you mentioned, is most important, but really empowering children. And through ideas like the Sun Smarts Challenge, which Lucy talked about, having children really involved in the process, not just having their parents chase them down and put sunscreen on, but really trying to teach them why sunscreen is so important and why they should also think about other sun safety behaviors like staying in the shade when possible and when keeping clothing and hats and sunglasses on. Because we know that overexposure during youth really can lead to skin cancer later in life. There's also a sun safety guide as part of this partnership where I've helped to develop some useful tips for parents and for children. And all of this is available on the website. 
Okay, sounds good. But before I wrap up, I'm going to take this last Facebook question. The question is, she said that uh, she's six months pregnant, but she does a lot of going to the beach because they live in a water community. Is that safe for her? So certainly I'm, I'm not telling people not to go to the beach. I myself go with my family every summer weekend. I think it's really important, though, to think about protecting your skin when you go to the beach. So applying sunscreen before you get out into the sun and remembering to reapply. Now the patient or the woman who asked this question about being pregnant, it's important to know that when pregnant, the effects of estrogen combined with sun exposure can make moles darken and it can cause other types of pigmentation on the skin. So it's important now more than ever to see a dermatologist to have her skin checked. But certainly she should go to the beach and have fun. She should just protect herself. That's great advice, Dr. Hill. I want to thank you and Lucy for coming in the studio and talking to us today about this project, this partnership. Once again, Lucy, where can we go online and get more information? So you can go to 4-h.org slash sunsmarts for more information about this campaign and about how you can implement sun protection within your family. I want to thank you ladies for doing such great work and being my guest on the Valder BB Show. Thanks thank for having you. us.